Acid mine drainage is a result of a chemical reaction that happens in the water. So when the legacy mines are left abandoned and exposed, the water creates a chemical reaction that deposits sulfuric acid and iron oxide. Acid mine drainage toxifies the entire river. So you will not see fish in that area and it can get into our waterways and actually slowly toxify us. Its local impact on the environment spreads a lot further than what we see. The Pollution to Pigment project is pulling this acid mine drainage out of the water, cleaning the water, and so we actually end up creating paints with iron oxide, and it's an alternative sustainable solution to our traditional paint making processes. We physically get waders on, we get into the water, we take buckets, and we end up scooping it out by hand. So we sift it through, we make sure that it's just the pigment and we get the excess water out. So you can get really any texture you want from the paint. So we actually end up with three colors depending on how long we fire it for. So we get kind of a yellow ochre color that has like an orangish brownish tint. And then we get a reddish brownish color and then we get a violet color, which is kind of like a reddish violet. In my art practice, I'm considering acid mine drainage as a symptom of an issue, and that issue is how we understand and interact with the environment. We often don't realize the implications or the consequences of our actions. We don't realize how far something can end up going. So I'm actually working from the lens of the year 2247, and I'm considering what the climate crisis will look like, how that will look like in individual lives, these long-standing impacts of every single facet of our life, because this is just one symptom. The entire reason I applied to OU was because I heard about this project and realized that this is a sustainable solution that I was actually looking for. So with my art, I'm hoping to ask the viewer how could they implore similar concepts in their own lives? So not that they need to use this paint, but rather how can they be sustainable in their own lives?